one, Karata Soprano, female travel companion, 2200 hours, Boca Line. Boca. Okay, what's going on, everyone? This is The Sopranos. This is episode nine, uh, entire Buka. We left off with episode eight with uh, Tony and the rest of the family coming up on indictments. You have Junior now knowing Tony is watching well talking with a therapist and Chris is going crazy over being accepted successful and a great writer like I said before wrong profession uh, type of work to, to be a writer let's go ahead and get into episode uh, 9 Thanks for coming through. Spin it. Look at this. Look at this plastic. And and there's weeds. Come over mm. here. Say a Hail Mary for your grandfather. Yeah. My son. The mental patient. He needs a psychiatrist for what? Tony Mama's not letting up with him talking to a therapist. And Junior is trying to just forget about it and keep going. Uh, they're playing Goldie. <laughs> Up, up, up. Come on, come on. Good job. Right. Five. What are you, happy? Rough play my ass. Getting kind of testy, testy out there on the soccer field. You blew that whistle one more time, I'm going to stick it up your fucking ass. Get off the field. Now. 42. Push. 42. Push. Lost hot girl. Don't know what to do. We didn't tell you. We did it. Brilliant. They're out there cheering and screaming like it's the Super Bowl. <laughs> the office still there. You want to uh, make a little money? You put some out on the street at two points. We split the interest. Nice. Tony's still trying to run that house, and nothing wrong with that. I'll be doing the same thing. Jesus, he said a beard. Oh, it's on the house. What else? My colleague over at Organized Crime Task Force. Shit. <laughs> Look, I'm still trying to find out if you've been named, all right? But these people, they are keeping these indictments very, very internal, Tony. So anybody wonders why I was here? Or for the lie detector test? Gotcha. Mm, indictments still floating around, haven't went away. You know, Arthur, what are you doing? You're gonna stay in that bar all day? What? I'm shooting a little. Mm. I've got the primer and I've been scraping. You have. Mm. Arthur, I could really use your help. Fucking guy lays down a walk home. Oh, yeah, fucking oh. blister it. Happy my own money. Two prior convictions. That places you in jeopardy of sentence under the habitual offender statute. I'm paying you four an hour to hear shit that's already eating my inside. I'd be happy to surrender, Mr. Sup Hell, he could be one of the feds delivering sandwiches. It's just letting anybody back there. You'd rather they kicked in your front door in the middle of the night? It's a target letter, Corrado. I'm sick and tired of sitting around on my hands. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Down to Boca with your lady friend? What the fuck you know about it? Works for the Joint Fitters Union, didn't somebody say? If you can't get your friends' jobs, what's the purpose of attaining success? The wheels of justice well, turn slowly. Yeah. Take her to Florida. Look, I didn't want to say anything, but this government's case, there's a leak. It's in Tony's boat. You want to tell me my nephew's in bed with the Justice Department? Just say it. Don't stammer around like a fucking spastic. Can't do that. Not in Tony's crew. What's fucking wrong with that guy? I feel it in my gut. I'm sorry, Mikey. You're a good boy. Fuck this. I'm going to Boca. Boca. Tired of you, know, you guys, You guys, where's Al? You're supposed to loan me a cig. I'll come with. Everybody just getting drunk. 
Just. Ow. If you're smoking, you owe me five dollars. <laughs> Allie, what are you doing? Yeah, Allie, what is Allie, he doing? Oh my God. But the kid was born with a silver spoon. Teenage girls are under a lot of stress. Well, I know this kid. He's a cutting. Of course, now he's going to see his therapist. He's great. Was it a genuine suicide attempt? Or was it a suicidal gesture? What's Lodge cutting? OJ in the missing tracksuit? Mm. It's a cry for help. Tried this before. Mm. A couple times. I had to talk about my daughter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Principal says girls in sports, they do better. They don't take the drugs. They don't get knocked up. But not this shit. God. Hey, you know, I'm surprised... Uh, Tony's even back at there so quickly because it didn't end good last time with them too. Last week I called you a whore. I might have been overstating the case a little bit. Oh, Mr. Soprano. Miss San Filippo. I have a check here for you to sign. Well, I was thinking Boca Raton. My mom, you read my mind. I'm all back, baby. I gotta talk to my cousin. You remember me, Larry Boy Barizzi? Well, I know who you are. Yeah, you lit an apartment house on fire mm. and scared your mother half to death. <laughs> Ma, how you doing? Remember Larry? Water under the bridge. Hey, hey there James, he how you doing? Did you get your mother settled into a sweet chair? They're not sure they're gonna accept her. They wanna see my financial statement again. Hey, what do you got? When he got hit with, what, what that is? But what? Oh, what the fuck! Yeah, Tony's gonna take this pretty personal. You just said you love it there. I know we're all upset about all that's been going on, but we still have a season left. Come on, let's go! Hey, coach, can't touch him. What are you doing? You leaving us after two fucking years? But Rhode Island doubled my salary. Yeah, well, you haven't heard ours yet. Oh, oh, look. Can't put your hands on that coach out there. I have a feeling. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Ooh. Excuse me? Hey, Ned. Let me tell your father. This is my field. Good. Come on, let's circle up for keep away. Let's go. Oh. Over here. Hey, big circle. Hmm. Go, come on, move it. Do you live in a good life? Who would have ever thought we could have been this contented? I did. As soon as I saw you, I knew. If only they knew the other side of you. They'd eat me for breakfast. <laughs> and you kiss me down there. Oh. I get you, Junior. Why the big secret? Why what? Oral sex. Well, I want to no. know why. Oh, no. It's complicated. Yeah. It's a sign of weakness and possibly a sign that you're a fanook. <laughs> Is he right? A bag. You too? What are you going to do, Army? I don't like the rules. <laughs> Kara broke down in tears when she heard the coach was leaving. You don't want to talk about it? Fine. No, okay. I, I got to go pick up Carmel anyway. She's at her sister's. Why does your wife hate me? Charmaine doesn't hate you. Look <laughs> at oh, this fucking Svachim over here. Oh. I'm at a cap at a nice restaurant like this. Tony going to go and take care of him? I would have killed his coach to stick around until my kid graduates. Then let him stay four years for Kiara. That burns my ass. Oh. Where are you going? Excuse me? They don't sell hot dogs mm. here. They took the bleachers out two years ago. It's my hat. I'll wear it where I want. Uh, he, he ain't going nowhere. He's... How you doing? No violence. Just ask him nicely. Hey. Remove his hat. Um, send him a bottle of Monte Pucciano. Get the license plate of these two guys sitting behind Artie. Get the valet to do it. They look like cops. Yeah, they sure do. Look like cops. Alphonse, how you doing? Good. You feel better? Yeah. Yeah, I, I had a long talk with Coach Hauser. And... Coach pressure you, Allie? No, Mrs. Soprano. He would never do anything like that. How the hell's he going to pressure her? Didn't have to call you on a stick around and finish what he started. Dad. What? Look at Junior out there. Listen, Roberto, what I said earlier, I'm serious. We discussed that with anyone. We're going to go 10 rounds. Will you keep it down? 
My lips are sealed. Visual on Karate Soprano and Female Travel Companion. 2200 hours. Boca Lounge. Boca. My dear watching Julia the Boca Lounge. I'm looking for uh, Coach Hauser. That's me. Petey. HD TV compatible. Well, uh, tell them thanks. But... Hey, this fucker's getting heavy here. Yeah, it is. If this is about Rhode Island, you can tell your friends it's a done deal. Right. The TV stays here. Put it down. You tell your friends I know all about them. If you did, you could do what they want. Is that a threat? I have friends yeah. in law enforcement, and they would call this extortion. You tell those assholes Don Hauser will not be intimidated. Mm. I go where I want to, when I want to. <laughs> hey. Hey! They just don't want you to go, bro. That's it. I mean. Bobby, you are so lucky with this guy. You have no idea. He's a sweetheart underneath it all. It looks good. I mean, I don't understand why I always have to ask him for oral sex. Not like you and your Corrado. Oh. Bibi, listen, I know we always used to yak about our sex lives. I think it would be better if we didn't anymore. Already talking. Already talking too much. Already talking too much. That's going to come back to bite her. Somehow. That's going to come back to get her. Can anybody think of anything else to talk about except soccer? All right. Uncle June, how was Boca? Wonderful. I don't go down enough. That's not what I heard. <laughs> Nothing. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. What the hell's the matter with you? All right, what did I say? This wife of yours, she's got the giggles. You quit. Quit what? What are you talking Hope about? You? With Ali back, you can go to the States. A girl slits her wrists, and all you can think about is a game? <laughs> Miss Meadow, come back here. Hey, you're not excused, young lady. I'll let her go. Go ahead, honey. I don't know. I'm glad Meadow quit. That coach pushes him to the brink. And that asshole, he thinks he can just walk away. Watch this cowboy. Don't start. <laughs> Come on. Tell me about Uncle stop Jim. It. No, stop it. Stop it. Oh, I can't. I nice. can't. That's you nice can't. I know you want it. All right, to. okay. Your uncle. No, I shouldn't say. Come on. Tony, Come, I shouldn't. on. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Uncle. Your uncle has acquired a taste for her. Uncle June gives head. World mm. class. Oh, he's a bushman of the Kalahari. See, oh, I don't no, tell no, you no. anything because you don't know when to stop. <laughs> oh, my God. If this ever gets out, what goes on in this bedroom stays here. And you know that. That's right. Once a year, I can resist the urge to gossip. Shelly Hauser called me this afternoon. Your friend sent some wires down there with a stolen TV set to try and bribe the coach. They tried bribing this man. What's next? Always with the extreme scenarios. No, come on, Arthur, tell me what's next. Don't pretend like you don't know what Tony Soprano is capable of. See how all that hatred for Tony, right? But you slept with him. I didn't forget that. Did anyone else forget that? What? Oh my God! No, you're mistaken. My dog is upstairs. Golden Retriever, blue nylon collar. Johnny, who is it? Evening, ma'am. Yeah, come get him. I won't want Petey to get hit by a car. I'm an animal lover. You okay, boy? Did you do something? What could I do? Point is, he's going to stick around and finish what he started with the girls. That's all. <laughs> that's it. Now, I see this coach trying to abandon his team, and I see your friends getting all worked up. So I try to do something about it. Coach Hauser had sex with Allie. What? That's why she cut herself. That's why I've been practically living at her house. I think that coach might be dead. I'm, yeah. I think this coach did, brother. Hi, hold on a minute. This is also a very serious accusation. What exactly did Allie say? That they had sex more than once. That she's not a virgin anymore. Now, Allie's a very 
pretty girl. Maybe there was, mm. maybe there was some confusion. Yeah. Maybe she wanted to look like she was sophisticated in your guys' eyes. Dad. <sighs> in my fucking mind here. Tony, go downstairs, will you please? So me and Meadow can talk. Jesus fucking Christ! God, now what did I do? Mom, well, she's in love with him, but he won't leave his wife. Leave his wife? Right. Meadow. Like, just tell Dad to let him go anywhere he wants, okay? Mm, it's too late now. It's too, it's, it's too late. Mm -hmm. Maldonado and his brother, they'll handle it. <sighs> me and Tony both drink. Tells me a solid. Give him a real after school special. You mm -hmm. out of your fucking mind? You want to know what your wonderful fucking coach did? He fucked little Ali Vandermeer and who knows who else he fucked. Mm. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. Fucked? Yeah. And my daughter should know this shit. My daughter should have to think about that filth. That self righteous prick put his dick in my little girl's soccer teammate. Fucking degenerate son of a bitch. He deserves to die. <laughs> Betraying children? Buddy, believe me. He ain't gonna be doing that shit no more. I guarantee you that. Mm. He guarantees it. So, there's nothing else to um, really talk about too much. Nobody told you to put my nephew under surveillance. I know, Junior. I know. Twice. Last week, he goes toward the medical center, and they lose him. A girlfriend. I mean, where else would he be going where it requires such uh, precautions? And what the fuck else would be the big secret? So, did you get any golf in down in Boca, Uncle June? Fucking manners, please. Will you let the man tee off? You yap worse than six barbers. If you'd have shut up doing that game against Mountain Lakes, you wouldn't have missed that fucking fly ball. No. Uncle June's in a muff. What? Oh. Uh oh, did I say muff? <laughs> I meant rough. I thought you were a bacala, man, Uncle Jim. What are you doing eating sushi? You fucking run off at the mouth, you know that? Mm. Hey, listen, my friend. At least I can deal with my own problems. Unlike some I know. Everybody's little secrets is coming out right there. Down to the border where the tuna fish play. Little girl Allie, she thinks it's all her fault. Lousy bastard. He's not going to get away with this. <laughs> you got that right. You, you, Hand me that bottle of bug uh, Tony, money. you going to tell Tony. I want the watch. Tony. Something going on, Artie? None of your business. Your mop's the friend going to do something crazy? <laughs> Fuck the world. That's how I feel like sometimes. Fuck the world. You can't tell me that Coach Houser doesn't deserve it. Okay, but... Who's worse, Tony Soprano or that child molesting fuck? Everybody. Everybody's pissed in this episode. Everybody's pissed about something. No, I, I don't know what he was talking about. He uh, he babbled. Uh, uh... Who was that? You're another one. Me? Of course, he's a fucking mental weakling. I know. You don't know shit, Mikey. You're seeing a psychiatrist, for Christ's sake. How about that, huh? Indictment's being prepared. He's spilling his guts. Fucking knew it. No, you didn't fucking know it. I just told you. Was it the Melendez brothers? I think it's Melendez brothers. You talking about clipping him? Nobody would slap my wrist if I did. If you're telling me of intent to harm this person, I must mm. warn you of my duty to <laughs> alert law enforcement. No, what you do? You stick your head in the sand, because that's what people like you do. Are you Why do you argue? think you, Anthony Soprano, <laughs> always has to set things right? So are you going to harm this man? I have to tell the police. <laughs> Tony. 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 Hey, Tony, I got to talk to you. It's about the, the thing. Just got to make the call. I'm saving the moment. You can't do it. It's what? wrong. It's wrong. Oh, what he did isn't. I'm begging you. I hate the guy, too. Something happens to him. Who's it going to help? Huh? His daughter? That girl? What the fuck do you think you are coming in here talking to me like this? Mm -hmm. Now, your boyfriend is finished. You deal with it. Hey, man. Tony wants it. You trying to tell him what to do in his bar. You know what? how he rolls? Come on, brother. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. Colorado. I was worried. You usually call me when you're this late. Did I tell you to keep your mouth shut? What? Did I tell you to keep that goddamn mouth shut? No, Corrado, don't hit me! Hmm. <laughs> I don't understand. We told you not Get to your pencils nothing. and your crap and the rest of your shit. And don't be here tomorrow. I told you not to call. No, Corrado! Let's fucking walk away. Don't do it. Fuck. All right. Leave it alone. Yeah, no problem. Alerted by a student friend of the alleged victim whose name cannot be revealed because of her age. Nobody died. <laughs> we went to jail. <laughs> we don't talk. We all get together. And it's kind of what I would do the camel walk. <laughs> I like that. Do the camel walk. Mixed with alcohol. Oh, Tony, that's wonderful. Happy trails. I didn't hurt nobody. I didn't hurt nobody. All right. Recap real fast. The coach arrested having sex with Allie. Uncle June. And Tony both knows each other's secret. June is thinking about taking out Tony. Tony has some self-control after talking with Arthur about taking that life. So basically, Arthur talked them out of it. You know, Sal and everybody and Polly was ready to take care of. Him. You know, and because of that. Tony had a little bit too much to drink with his medication. He, did, he said, I didn't kill anybody. He was that close. He wanted to. But he went the higher road with it. And um, I guess he's, he's, you know, he's very proud of himself. to taking a higher road to go the, the long way instead of the street way but ahead the biggest thing is, I think is going to unravel in season one is going to be probably Junior trying to take out Tony or something man things come through if you enjoyed the reaction you know, commentary whatever I did here <laughs> You can like and subscribe. And as always, once again, thanks for coming through. And see you next one. Take care, everyone. One love. Peace.